hi welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how to run automation test on chrome browser using selenium and python here we will use windows computer and we will use pycharm id in the last video we saw how to install selenium to automate chrome browser we need to download chrome driver we can download chrome driver from selenium.dev this website so this is the official website of selenium.dev from here you can download the driver so here you will find the downloads location if you don't see downloads location here please search somewhere on that page you will find the downloads just click the downloads and the downloads page will be appeared and then you scroll down a little bit uh, and slowly and you will find this type of section like platforms supported by selenium and there is one option browser and other option open system we need to download the driver for our chrome browser okay so what you have to do we have to expand these browsers and if we expand then we'll see there is chrome to download chrome driver we need to go to this link so i'm going to uh, access this link by clicking there and it will come this page here you will find all versions available in downloads just click there and all the available versions of google chrome will be listed over there you'll see that there are google, uh, google chrome version 83 81 80 somewhere something like that and for a specific version of browser we have this type of driver okay so now the question is which versions of driver actually will download so let's uh, check that to check the version of your google chrome browser what you have to do you have to go to your browser and then there is a three dot just click over there and then it will pop up this type of menu list and just go to the help and under help when you move your cursor you will see about google chrome just click over there and it will open a new tab, new tab and it will show you the browser version of google chrome right now we are seeing 81 version so for our case we will download the driver for 81 and we see this is the 81 and this is the download link of 81 versions of google chrome so i just click over there and it will start uh, the download page and from here we will see a couple of options like uh, linux system mac system windows system we are using windows computer and definitely we have to choose this one the windows 32 version okay just click there and it will start download shortly once it is finished download just go to the download location okay so before going to there i want to mention one other thing so for right now i am seeing that the version of chrome browser like this on so in future when you try to download the google chrome driver you might see the version is like 100 or 500 or 700 something like that so what you have to do you have to check the browser version and then download that specific supported version of the google chrome driver okay now let's go to the uh, download location of the folder and minimize this thing because we don't need it anymore and also here uh, I, I have to go the downloads and in the downloads location we'll see that the driver is there so what we can do we can extract to extract this thing you can uh, use some software or you can do one thing you can right click and then you will find open it and just click windows explorer it will open that thing now what you can do you can copy this thing and then put it in a location suppose for example i am copying this thing i am putting it in the desktop because i want to put some path location so once you uh, copy it you will see that the driver is uh, there so this is our driver okay now let's jump to the pycharm editor so here in pycharm editor we have to create one folder why where we will actually uh, put this driver uh, we are, I'm doing this thing so that we can organize our code but uh, you can put it in other location but uh, most of the companies they actually organize their code in some particular location so it is very modularized and in future it will help you uh, to mod, uh, put your code anywhere in the computer drive or location or you can even move your code from one computer to another computer but the code will not break that's why I will do that approach so what I have to do from the PyCharm editor uh, just right click and then you will find an option then that uh, show in explorer just go uh, click there and it will open the location where the pycharm posit is there okay so here we see the selenium python okay so this is the selenium python this is the folder main folder okay and inside this we have selenium posit so if we double click it and we'll see that this is the project location okay so what we can do we can come back this root folder and over there i am going to create a folder named as uh, drivers i'm putting drivers because right now we have on driver but in future when we will try to automate by other browsers also like uh, 
Internet Explorer or like uh, Firefox, then we might need some couple of drivers. So we can put all the drivers here, central location. That's why I put uh, drivers. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to uh, drag and drop it in the drivers location. Now this will be here. Okay, now we can close this thing. So now if you refresh, uh, like reload from disk, then you will find the driver, right? So here in the inside the driver, you will see the Chrome driver.exe is there. Okay, now we need to create a Python file which uh, will use uh, this driver to automate the browser. So I'm going to this folder, Selenium project, and then right click and then choose new and we want to create a python file so there's two files is file and this python file but our goal is to python file because we want to automate using selenium and python so i'm just choosing this one and it will uh, pop up uh, to put the python file name suppose the python file name is chrome underscore then uh, chrome uh, this is windows version so i can type windows windows underscore then this is pycharm pycharm dot pi we can also mention it more clearly chrome driver like dri here and we uh, put underscore everywhere okay don't put any space then uh, it will not work okay then hit enter key of your keyboard and the file will be created here see you the file is there okay now what we have to do we have to uh, write code to automate the browser so we, at first we need to import web driver so we can import web driver from selenium so i am typing from selenium so i'm choosing this selenium and then import and web driver okay now create the instance of web driver so we can create that web driver dot uh, we are using chrome right so we use chrome and then inside this we have to put the path the executable path so we can put executable x e c u executable path here okay then hit enter and it will come and then after that inside it we have to put the path now we need to put the path of this driver the path of this driver is not this current folder okay it is in under selenium python and then drivers then inside it okay so what we have to do our script is in this level right so what we have to do we have to jump at the top root of this folder and then after that we'll go this folder and then we'll find this path right this chrome driver so we have to type everything here so to jump from my current location to the root we have to type two dot okay then we have to um, press slash bar this forward slash okay then after that we have to put the folder name what is the folder name here driver so if we try to drivers d then uh, pycharm will help us that there is a drivers folder we can choose this and then after that again slash and then what we have to do we have to put the chrome driver okay so here uh, if we type c then it will suggest you that there is chrome driver dot exe just hit enter key and it will auto complete okay now uh, this is the web driver and we are using uh, chrome chrome uh, browser to do this thing let me define on variable here like driver and then inside it we created this thing okay now uh, let's try to open the browser so to open the browser what we have to do we have to use the get method so we can call driver then dot get method okay inside this get method we have to type the url so right now we want to open the google uh, website okay so what will be the url the url will be like http then colon double slash www dot google dot com okay this http uh, actually I mistake it should be HTTP this is important if you don't put uh, then uh, the browser will unable to open this website once you complete this part our script is ready now we can run the code so to run this code actually we can do two ways we can right click and then we can choose run chrome driver or we can click this triangle to run the thing so uh, I'm going to uh, run it manually so right click and then I am choosing run chrome driver windows okay this is the actual python file name and then once you click there and it will open google chrome and finally it will go to google.com so in this way we can automate basically by using this script we actually automate the google website home page okay so, but you can put any url this is just the beginning that's why i typed there but you can use any of the url that's all for this video i believe that by watching this video you are able to run automation test on chrome browser using selenium and python together and this is the windows version and we use 
PyCharm ID and in the next video I will show you how to do this thing using the Visual Studio code uh, to automate this thing and I believe you are able to do this thing and one more thing uh, if you feel this video is useful and helpful for you uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video see you on the next video